The Minnesota State Capitol will once again be the backdrop for this year's Songkran Festival. It is a celebration of all things Thailand, the food, performances, local vendors, and family fun, all with a nod back to Thai culture. The festival is planned for this weekend, but we're giving you a special preview here on The Four. We like to do that. So joining us now in studio today is Sang Savan Sihalith and uh, Butaka Laird Wutirung. Did I say it? Correct. Kind of close. Yeah. I had to learn their names in the commercial break. So these are two of the talented crew who are going to make the festival so special, and we're so glad that you're here. Thank you, you look for great, having us. by the way. <laughs> From what we saw last year, there was a, a great turnout. I mean, it's in front of the Capitol, so there were a lot of people that went last year, but for someone who hasn't gone, what can they expect for the festivities this year? Yes, um, the Minnesota Songkran Festival is a celebration of the Thai New Year, and um, it's a family-friendly event, which includes food, vendors, performances, and we will have um, guests mm -hmm. that come from Thailand, um, which is Bo Kao, one of the best um, Muay Thai boxers. Coming and also, all the way from Thailand for yes. this. Wow. And also Miss Thailand and also Miss Universe Thailand. Wow, some yep. celebrities yes. from across the ocean <laughs> coming this way. I know, I saw the videos from years past. It <laughs> is a big party. Like, yes. the atmosphere is fantastic. Tell me about the Thai New Year and what those celebrations usually entail. I mean, outside of a festival like um, this. It entails of, like, Thai cultures and other um, Southeast Asian cultures mm -hmm. through art, music, food and live performances like dances. Mm -hmm. Speaking so of fun. food, I know we have some food here, but there is, before we get to what's on display, there's a big event pertaining <laughs> to food, yes. uh, a contest for eating. What can you tell us about it? Um, the papaya salad contest is going to be um, whoever can eat the fastest <laughs> and or the most? Is it the fastest, fastest or the most? Fastest, you yeah. have to finish everything, okay, even the, the juice. Ah, okay. Yes. okay. What's, is there a prize or something for yes, people who can the Yes, there are prizes, cash prizes. Oh my gosh. Yep. Jeff, you should <laughs> go <ahead. laughs> um, Okay, what is on the menu this year for the foodies who are going to come out to the There's festival? There's going to be many more than this. Um, mm -hmm. Cream cheese wonton, mm -hmm. meatballs with um, tamarind sauce, mm -hmm. chicken satay, Thai and barbecue pork. What do we have here? So this is the... The Lao style papaya salad. Okay. And we also have Thai style papaya salad. So this is what people are throwing down in the eating contest, right? This yes. is one of these you have to take yes. that down. Cool. And we also have sticky rice, Thai coffee, Thai milk tea, and also one of the most famous Thai dessert is we'll mango sticky rice. Yeah, the mango sticky rice, yep. which is so, so, so good. <laughs> you gave us a fork, so I yep. feel like we should <laughs> at least <laughs> try. Yeah, and then you said there's also coconut in here. I'm there's impacting coconut. this beautiful display yes. you made, but I'm being very selfish <laughs> oh. at the moment. So There's coconut Thank you. on Thank top you. of the sticky rice. <laughs> Tell me about how the festival has influenced Thai culture in Minnesota. It seems like a great way to celebrate and get the community together, but also share with people who are not Thai what yes. your culture is all about. Yes, just a little background. We started with a very small a Thai community. Um, I would say about 20 to 30 families back in Elk River. Mm -hmm. And ever since we moved our community to um, St. Louis Park, we now able to hold festivals for people to uh, enjoy a Thai culture. Um, we had over 20,000 attendees last year, wow. and this is our second annual Minnesota Songkran Festival, and we are expecting 30,000 wow. attendees this year. Some people come in all the way from Thailand. Before we go, yes. though, we do want to talk about your outfits. We're like, it's like the thing we have not addressed <laughs> mm -hmm. in the room because you guys look so great. Um, walk us through yeah. one of your outfits. So, so today we stand are, for a little bit for the camera right here. Yeah. So Some people can today see we are wearing like a. Uh, Thai traditional outfit. Mm -hmm. The garment we made of, uh, of silk and then uh, we usually wearing a uh, long skirt, it's called patong, and a uh, uh, long uh, sh shash is called like a uh, supply. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for all this, like uh, we wear like handcrafted gold accessory, like That's from hair to drills. And then also we uh, Please don't miss the uh, Songkran Festival because, like this year, is kind of very huge, uh, huge uh, culture, like like huge uh, event. Mm -hmm. So that's why, like a, uh, uh, like a big, uh, what do you call it? Songkran, like it's, it's a Thai celebration. Yes, Thai yes. celebration. <laughs> Thai New Year. Thai New Year. Yeah. yeah, this year is kind of like special years. 
because we have like a Thai dress lentil boot. It's called like sabai. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Where you can you rent the clothes, that. right? Yeah. Yes. So you so can go and rent the clothes. Yeah. Ladies, yes. you look beautiful. <laughs> Just, this food looks great. Yeah. We're going to dig into this after. But the festival is free to attend. We want to tell people that we have a link to more information, hours, directions, all of that at WCCO.com.